Alright guys, so here we're going to do simultaneous equations to solve for x and y. So simultaneous equations are actually very easy. All you do, step one, is get x or y alone. So, so you just want to get x or y alone. So I'm going to take this equation over here because we already have y alone. Can you see that? Step two, plug that into the other equation. Okay, so if for example we call this top one equation one and we call this equation two, let me rather call this A and B just to not cause any confusion here. Okay, so what we did is we did A, we got X or Y alone, so we got this alone. Now we put that into the other equation. So what we do is we go to the other equation, I'm just gonna write it out, and we're going to replace this y, because it says here that y is equal to this. So we're going to put this in the place of y. So we're going to end up now with x squared plus 2x plus 4 plus 3x equals to 8. So what you guys should identify here is that I have taken this, and I, <laughs> this little glitter writing, I didn't know that that was a glitter pen, and I've put that over here, which is in the place of this y over there. Now it's easy, that's the difficult part. So now what we do is we just solve. So we're just gonna say x squared plus 5x, let me write that a bit better, 5x plus 4 minus 8, because I'm bringing the 8 over, equals to 0, and then it's x squared plus 5x minus 4 equals to 0, and then you solve. Now, I'm going to use the quadratic formula. I don't think this one solves very nicely. No, it doesn't. So we find that x is equal to 0 0.7 and x is equal to negative 5.7. Okay, so now we have our two x answers. And so what we can now do is we need to find our y answers. So we can say here, if x equals 0 0.7, then we can easily find y by just using this one over here. Because it says that y is equal to, now in the place of x, you're going to say 0 0.7. And let's see what we get. 5.89. Then we can do the other one. So we can say, let's do that in a different color. Let's go with this black color. So if we say if x equals to negative 5.7, then we do the same thing, y equals to negative 5.7, note I'm using a bracket, negative 5.7 plus 4, and if we had to go work this out, we end up with 25.09. So our final answers are going to look like this, Your, when x is 0 0.7, then the y value for that one was 5.89. So we do like that. Or, then your other answer, when x was minus 5.7, then your y value was 25.09. And so there are the answers for this question.